Hi folks, thought I'd bring you a little bit of a different uh, boot video from the normal videos I make. I'm on the Indian Pacific Railway that goes from uh, Perth, Western Australia, to uh, Sydney. It takes sort of uh, three nights, three and a half days, it's a long trip and um, stops at various places on the way and then this particular stop it's literally the middle of nowhere and uh, it's a so-called ghost town uh, in the sense that uh, it was built around about 1917 for the railway to service the railway and now there's only four people living here which I still think are linked to the railway uh, it's not really reachable by car, unless you guess you come across the bush. There's no roads here, so it's only the railway that's uh, servicing the town. And it's an interesting trip. It's a good way to see um, Australia if you're from outside the country and you want to have a relaxed way to see some of the outback uh, without uh, very, very long drives. Obviously, you sleep on the train and you eat. Uh, everything's included in the price. And there's various uh, grades. But uh, that aside, uh, I just wanted to talk about the boots I'm using on this trip. And these are high-tech boots. High-tech uh, Altitude VI. They're leather waterproof boots. They, uh, they have their own... Uh, Patent uh, waterproof membrane, high tech called dry tech. They also use something called ice shield technology to repel water off the lever. Uh, they have cushioning and antimicrobial uh, liners. They have a molded impact absorbing midsole. Uh, they've also, I think. Since I bought these, I bought these uh, a few years ago when I was on a trip to South Africa, and uh, they've now upgraded them again to um, a new model with, I think, a Michelin outsole. But what I like about high tech is they're very light, so for travelling they're quite good, uh, and also they're one of the few boots I've ever purchased where you could use them straight out of the box with uh, no worries about blisters etc. They're very comfortable straight out the box and I've had a number of different pairs of uh, high-tech boots. So they're good for this trip because uh, as you can see <coughs> this particular area is pretty dusty and sandy. So Cook. Nothing here frankly to be honest. <laughs> but uh, still an interesting trip to make and uh, I just thought it'd be a little bit different to uh, to review a pair of boots that are not uh, ex-army boots. So if you've got the time and you've got the money of course then this train trip from Perth to Sydney or you can do it Sydney to Perth of course it is a good experience. It's uh, it's a fairly relaxed way to um, to see the countryside. So that's it from Cook in the middle of nowhere. So if you're watching this in the UK, I'll be back soon to join you in the bad weather. Take care out there.